Hey guys, so I'm here with a haul. Um, uh oh. Shoot. My flower. Sorry. Someone I have flowers on the ground. Um, Goodwill Timu Nifty. And I probably won't be able to get it all in this video, so it might be a multiple multiple parter. Uh, we'll see. Um, from Goodwill, I started working on that first diamond painting that I had bought, you know, over a year ago. And um, I was having a lot of issues um, with the shadowing. Because, um, and by shadowing, I mean light. I have two lamps to my right hand side, but I'm right handed, so it causes a shadow when I'm using my right hand. And so I went into Goodwill to look for a lamp, and I got this. It was the cheapest clamp light I could find. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of LED, but um, options were limited. And um, so this one's got, you know, it's, it's pretty neato. It, it's not like a super bright light, but it does create a good spotlight and it's got a nice neck to be able to, you know, uh, turn as I need and the clamp fits on my table and the cord is long enough to go to the right side of my table, which is where the outlet is. So, um, hopefully that helps me because I was struggling. All right, next we'll do Timu, or at least part of Timu, because I can't get to the stuff on, to Nifty. It's on the bottom of the bin. Um, first thing I bought were these Brute Fooner, Brute Fooner, um, metallic colored pencils. I was looking online. I paid, apparently I paid $17.98. I feel like I didn't pay that much. I don't think I did. I think I paid half that because a lot of the shit I bought was half price. Um, I was looking at the reviews online and um, it's mixed. Just like with every fucking thing. Reviews are just polar opposites. So um, what I can tell you is that um, just by looking at the LEDs because you can't see it in the pictures... Most of them do look metallic. Most of them do look like they have uh, mica in it. Um, what I wanted metallic colored pencils for is I really want to color images on black paper. And I was wildly disappointed with these markers um, that I had bought the last time. Because uh, the pictures that they showed, the markers looked brilliant on black paper. And when I tried them myself... They did not eat most of the colors you could barely see. So I'm hoping these will be different. I'm not expecting, you know, uh, artist quality pencils. I just want something that's opaque and pigmented enough that I can color on black paper. So, but I don't think I paid that much for it. Um, next thing I bought, I will do a review. I might do a review on camera. I might. I don't love doing coloring pencil, color, coloring videos, but um, that would have a purpose. Um, I got these palette knives. Uh, they were $3.48. I'm, uh, happy with what I got for the price I paid. Um. Yeah, they've got... They're sturdy enough for some good pressure. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Because I was using uh, sculpt, sculpting tools, plastic sculpting sculpting tools for clay. Not the best uh, tool for uh, spreading on paste, but that's what I had. So I could pick those up. Um, okay, so then I got, I was a little bit agitated with myself. And also the website. I needed some of this, uh, whatchamacallit, the sticky ace bandage for my crutches, because uh, I have a permanent set of crutches that I don't ever get rid of because I break my feet so often. So, um, the pads need to be rewrapped. 
And so I thought I was buying one roll of black and one roll of purple. It turns out I bought five rolls of black. Um, how much were the five rolls? The five rolls were four sixty eight. The one roll was eighty eight cents. Um, these are on the same listing, so I thought I was just picking one color purple, one color black. But instead, I picked one color purple, and then the black option was five rolls, and I didn't realize that until I ordered it. So I was a little bit agitated with myself for not noticing, and with Timu for having it listed on the same page like that, you know. It should have just been, I didn't click the black roll five times. It should have just been, you know, how many do you want? Oh, I want five rolls of black. You know what I mean? I did not want five rolls of black, but I guess I got it. Um, okay. Then I bought this. So I bought one of these, they're called... The adjectives are so similar, and I never remember which order, but it's like the Wobble Wiggle Ball, or the Waggle Wiggle Ball. It was an, an as-seen-on-TV product. I bought one for Chewy uh, years ago when I worked at Walmart, and he loves it. And I, it was at my mom's house, and it's lost. I don't know what she did with it, but she can't find it. And so I was like, man, I really want one for Rosie. Because she'd have a blast with it. And this is half the size of the one that Chewy has. Um, but yeah, it the paint quality is not as good as the As Seen on TV one that I bought. Definitely not. It'll be interesting because the original one. Um, I mean, Chewy really clawed and attacked that thing on a daily basis. And the paint never scratched. I don't know how that's freaking possible. But it never did. This, I have a feeling, is not going to be just by the paint. I don't think it's going to be as durable. Hopefully it doesn't break. Um, how much did I pay for it? $9.48. So it wasn't the cheapest toy. It's about what I paid at Walmart. So, um, yeah. All right, um, okay, um, let's do, I bought a couple diamond paintings, which I kind of feel foolish about because I'm not sure if I like doing diamond paintings at this point. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So this first one I bought was four ninety eight. Hopefully you guys can see. I know it's not the right orientation. I apologize. Um, it says I refuse to sink, and I bought this for. I wanted to make it for my girlfriend who, um, as do many of us, struggle with uh, depression. And so, whoa. I just. Okay. I'm. No. That is sparkly. Okay, well that's, hmm, this canvas is sparkly. Interesting. I wonder if you'll be able to see the sparkle through the, uh-oh, Chewie's got it now. You still want to play with it? Yeah? Not too old at 16? No? That's more your size. I mean, the one, the other one was twice as big. And Chewie's just a shipu, but he still grabbed a hold of the bigger one. He loved that thing. I guess he's, uh, 
<laughs> Rosie's staring at him. Like, what the fuck? She bought this for me. Oh, I guess she was done. You can play with it. It's okay. It's a toy. It's okay. You can play with it. All right, the next diamond painting I bought was $3.49. I'm not sure why I bought this one. Um, all of these are sparkly. Holy shit. I wonder if my other one's sparkly. Um, I'm not sure why I bought it because I don't like cats. I don't know. I'll give it to someone who does like cats, I guess. Oh, shit, that one apparently did not get rolled back up. I guess I did like it kind of because it was a zombie, a zombie girl. Can you guys see that? With the black cat. I did not look at the size. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. diamond painting. Oops, sorry. Chewy's bumping you. And so it's $4.48. This one I bought for myself. Yeah, this one's sparkly too. I'm gonna have to look at the one that I'm working on. I did I do not remember seeing sparkles on it. Come on man. Oh. This one I'm gonna have to put away on off camera. Plastic. Got caught on the outer packaging. So I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. It's a mama and a baby elephant. I think it's just one baby. Nope, two baby elephants. And it's kind of in a kind of like an acid wash coloring. So. That one I bought for myself because you know, you know. I'll put that away. I'll have to wrap it up in plastic wrap. All right, then I bought this wooden puzzle. This was five twenty nine. I remember this was half off, so. Um. They are wood pieces. Okay, well that's going to take... I was hoping for a slightly uh, more difficult puzzle to put together. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully it looks cool. I mean, they are wood pieces, so yay for that. I was just hoping for more, more pieces. Because I'm an adult, you know. <laughs> Or at least, I like to think I'm an adult most of the time. Okay. Um, next thing I bought. This I was disappointed with. Uh, I don't recall there being a size on the listing. 
it, but when I was reading the reviews, because I was super excited about it, I realized how tiny it was when this one person took a picture of them holding it. So this was a leather journal. Uh, I bought it because it was nautical. Uh, it's got compass embossed on the front, or pressed on the front. It's got um, an anchor charm and a ship's wheel charm. I believe this was half off, so uh, four ninety eight. I think I said. Um, the inside, it's just... I'm not going to journal on pages this small. Um, they're really thin. They're a little bit thicker than the computer paper computer paper pages or computer paper uh, craft color so I mean, after I ordered it and then realized how small it was I decided well um, maybe I can uh, use it as a poetry journal so yeah I'm not sure what I don't know what these lines do. Hmm. I don't know what you're supposed. What are you supposed to do with these? What is this for? I don't know. So, I mean, it's a beautiful journal. I do love it. Would I have bought it though, knowing how small it was before I bought? It? No. I want to have. Here is the next thing. It's bling bling because I am. So so low on bling. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. It was four dollars and four cents. There is not a lot in each cubicle, so probably getting what I paid for on this one. Um, just looking at it, I don't. There's half pearls in here too. Um. The quality, I mean, it's the same general shape, the same pyramid shape as the ones that I love that I bought from Elena Cuddle. But the quality, I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't look as good. So, um, whether that's true or I'm just being, uh, you know, half glass, uh, <laughs> glass half empty kind of person, as I know I can be, um, who knows? Is it taped? Indeed. But I, you know, I really wanted more pyramid blings, and um, yeah. So am I super happy with this? Probably not. It would have been nice if it was fuller, you know, instead of just enough gems to barely cover the bottom of the plastic. Okay, this I was pretty excited about. It's Pom Pom Maker. I'm sure everybody has them. It was three thirty nine, which I thought was a very good price. Um, I've had the urge to make pom poms. This plastic feels a little flimsy. If I'm a bee completely legit with you. My mom told me I should just, you know, use cardboard and I was like, but I want some fancy pom-pom makers. This feels flimsy. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, it feels flimsy. And this was the packaging, so make your own uh, decision. I may, if I find something better in the future, invest in better quality, um, pom-pom makers because like I said it's it feels very cheap all right it's probably another thing where I got what I paid for you know Yeah. 
very confused. Alright. Alright, this I paid one thirty-eight for. Um this I feel like was a waste of money. And I'm glad I only bought one. Um Supposed to be like washi, if you will. I got it because it was maps, you know, and I'm just been on such a nautical kick for a while. Um, and it's supposed to look like burnt map roll. I'm trying to find. Come on. <laughs> Give me the edge. Man, I cannot get an edge on that. Um. What does it feel like? It feels like exceptionally thin paper. Um, so yeah, this would probably not be a, a repurchase for me. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's like, eh, you know, wasn't worth that dollar. I thought it would be like washi tape, but it's literally just paper. All right. Speaking of washi tape, I couldn't help. I'm not supposed to be buying washi tape because I told myself I'm not supposed to be. And I knew there would be barely nothing on these rolls, but I I am such a sucker for washi paper looking washi tape. So yeah, you're not getting barely anything. But is it stunning? Yeah. Did I say I paid two ninety eight for this? So it's not terrible uh, of a price, um, especially for something. It feels really nice. I like the thickness. So is it worth it? Yes. Um. You're not going to be able to find washi tapes that are like this for, you know, with more on the roll. You're just not. Um, it's, it is slick, so it's not quite like washi paper, but then again, it can't be because it needs to be able to peel off of itself. So, if it, you know, actually felt like real washi paper, you'd just be ripping the paper because washi paper is pretty uh, fibrous. So, um... There's this little flower one, this bigger flower one, and there's this bigger flower one. Looks like cherry blossoms. So am I disappointed with this? No. Oh, here's a, like a diamondy one. Um, I kind of knew what I was getting, so I can't say that I'm real disappointed on that. Then got this pack of stickers. I've really been pulling back on the stickers because I don't need stickers. <laughs> I love stickers. I don't fucking need stickers. Um, but these were jellyfishes and I have been on a jellyfish kick. So, you know. So, I mean, they're really pretty. Although a lot of these, like, sorry for the glare. All right, let me take this one. Look at that tiny dot 
on my finger here. Give me a freaking break. I am not going to be using that tiny dot. <laughs> Does it say quantity of stickers on here? It may, and I just uh, can't read through the Chinese. So, um, oh, these were one nineteen. Were they worth it? Sure. It's cheaper than Dollar Tree. And then I bought this die set. This was two forty eight. This is a pansy. I've been looking for a good pansy die for a while. And I know it would have been helpful if I put shit together for you, but <sighs> so not my style. All right, this was $1.99. This was smaller than I uh, <laughs> anticipated it being. Uh, I thought this clock face would be much bigger and these gears would be much smaller um i mean it's okay it was only two bucks i was just hoping for a bigger clock face uh this next die was 138 i kind of wish i hadn't bought this because i really don't want to try and color these They are lighthouses. Again, nautical, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of wishing I didn't buy these ones. Probably not going to be my favorite. Speaking of nautical, this was 208 Sorry, fingers, they have such problems lately. It's compass. Pretty nice. I like it. This was 98 cents. Um, I just really, for fuck's sake, Chelsea. Um, I really liked the tattered edge of this tag. I really wish that it was just a whole set of tattered edge tags instead of having this label in the center, but, um, I like it. I will most definitely use it. Alright, this die I was super excited about. I saw the example that they did on it, and it was gorgeous, and it, I could just see me making cards so fast with it. Um, I've held off buying sequin dies in the past, because I have sequins. You know, you don't need to buy a die if you've got the actual product of it, you know? Um, but these were giant sequins, and the card that they made with it, oh my god, it was stunning. And so, yes, I bought this, how much did I pay, Two forty-eight. It was so worth it, it's gonna be so worth it, with some metallic papers. Um, very excited about that. It's my time, 28 minutes. Um, I bought a, another pack of tweezers, which are apparently Alright, these are not as good quality as this pair that I bought, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, I would say I'd just use it for my geckos, but I won't because they're, they've got a sharp point and um, that could be very dangerous. Feeding an animal with something with a sharp point. And then I guess the last thing I'll show you, I got um, this pack of spirographs. It was three forty-eight. I bought these for Alex because um, she said she loves spirographs, and everyone deserves to have a set of spirographs in their arsenal because they are so fun. So um, yeah, I mean it's not too exciting, but. 
what you make with spirographs are very exciting. Um, so I'll stop it there because I'm running out of time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Adios.